This, uh, this tree uh, here was a logging sized tree and there's been no logging uh, on this contract since 1974. So this tree we know was cut the year prior to the incident. So this would be a tree, a record of its growth up to but not including the time of the incident. So we have uh, here uh, these tree rings going back probably 150 years that show minimal variability in the growth rate here on, the, uh, on this, this ridge. And that's in answer to the people who think that the accelerated growth that we observed in the trees nearest where the craft came down as being some kind of a natural occurrence. But this is a record of the natural conditions here on this, this um, hilltop for um, 150 years prior to the time of the incident. Here's a stump of one of the trees that was sampled way back in 1992, uh, 15 years after the incident. And uh, even though this tree is kind of at the edge of the area that was affected, you can still see a major jump in the thickness of the growth rings in this tree. The thinning would have had no effect on these thicker rings that occur uh, during this span of time. Here there's minimal variation and then all of a sudden they're vastly thicker. And we'll see this again and again. This tree was another tree that was sampled uh, back in uh, 92, 93. You can see that a core sample was taken out by making four uh, converging cuts and then the wound was sealed up with uh, uh, weatherproof putty to uh, protect the tree and that worked fine because the tree grew and was healthy until the fire came through here and killed them. The effect on accelerated growth seems to have been limited like it went on for you know 15 or 20 years and then faded away. Now this tree was probably just a tiny little sapling at the time but the accelerated growth part, you can see here, is still solid. After the tree died, uh, the part that was not affected by accelerated growth, where the, the rings returned to a more normal thickness, it rots and this other part doesn't. This tree was actually uh, growing and was about this big around at the time the incident happened. Then it had this period of extremely rapid growth and you can see that those rings resist decay. And then after the effect slowed down and uh, growth rate returned to normal, you've got growth rings of a similar thickness here and here, uh, the susceptibility to rot returned. But during that time of accelerated growth, you have resistance to rot. 